Bocce ball in America is a special game, a unique game, played nowhere else on earth. It is a rare game. The men and women who play it make it so. Traces of the game have been recorded as early as 5200 BC in early Egyptian wall paintings. Along the tomb and palace walls, men and women in stone profile, their eyes intense with outline, stand or sit in relief across from each other, waiting for centuries for the start of the right look in each other's eyes. Egyptians played with brown stones, polished the delicate sheen of sun-kissed bosoms. Today's warriors use shiny silver metallic balls with their outer surfaces etched with precision grooves. They play on grassy fields, seductively silky and smooth. Yet, they are fraught with challenging obstacles, forbidding stone walls and hidden ragged crevices. Ever since I was seven or eight years old, I've been part of bocce. All my life, every year. It strips you bare, tests you, totally. Yeah, like right away. Oh, the dog ate. When you come off that field, you know yourself better. <laughs> She delivers from a crouched position, releasing it in a slow, rolling motion. The tracks of her efforts are like smooth contrails in a green sky. Power is generated from the muscles of her back as they shift, stretch, and roll with her movements. When she releases, she stares at the ball like a hawk hunting its prey until it huddles near the polino, pleading for protection from her piercing, icy, blue-eyed glare. Her skill is a kind of magic, and she enchants us all. They said I was too short, too weak, too spastic. But if you believe in yourself, you can do it. You learn to deal under pressure. You learn who can and who can't. Five to one, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> the game is to what? 12. The game is to 12. That leaves a lot of room, though. A lot of time. A lot of room and time for us to win. It gets to a point where you just feel like you can't go on anymore. We're going to beat these little... <laughs> I no, think you're not. They're that they're screwed. feeling like they actually have boys. some luck. Get the girls out But they're going to need a lot more luck if they're actually going to win. You want to quit. You want to give up. But then, suddenly, you'll make a throw. Oh, oh nice. That turns the entire game around. Those are the lessons you learn. I feel really good. Yeah. I'm pumped yeah. now. When the ball lands near the Polino, its closeness is precisely measured from inside to inside. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a, a measuring malfunction here. Uh -oh. We're going to have to do this again. Ah, oh, man. Uh, look whoa. at the ball. You don't okay. have it. Look you need a measuring point. tape. Look at the point. It's touching this. The winning measurement is followed by the usual arguments and gestures, the sullen darkening of the faces of the losing cadre. This is a show of uh, chivalry by the boys, actually. You see, it's sort of like holding the door open. You gotta let them win sometimes. We told you! We told you! Then, someone announces that the leftover turkey is ready, and everyone relaxes and heads inside for chow. When it's all over, I can say that I'm Jared Ledoux, bocce ball player. And I always will be Jared Ledoux, bocce ball player.